morning people it's been a while um now i'm coming at you today <laughs> fresh out of the shower because i have been ugly crying all morning and uh sometimes it just helps to cry and let it out in the shower right um me personally i'm doing great i um had another cat scan recently no tumor growth the medication's doing what it's supposed to um i'm i'm you know, overall feel really good, pretty healthy, you know, um, the chemo pills working. I'm still taking it every day, one pill a day. And, uh, like, you know, like I, like they want me to, and I'm still on all of my supplements from my, um, naturopath, my holistic doctor. And those get changed around every few months or whatever, but it's going well. Um, but I, you know, there's just been, what seems like an overabundance of people in some way related to my life that are being diagnosed with cancer lately. And um, some days it's just more than you can take. And you begin to question why, why so many people and why is this going on so much? And maybe, you know, probably always has. I mean, cancer is not prejudiced one ounce on anything doesn't matter any any time day or night it wants to arrive it's gonna arrive uh doesn't matter who you are what you do doesn't matter and um it just seems like it's several a week for the past few weeks of people that pop up that that i know or i'm acquainted with or related to or whatever that all of a sudden hey i got i Got my diagnosis, you know, got my diagnosis. Oh, you know, my, my mom got her diagnosis. My sister got her diagnosis. It's like, like they're just being handed out and it just fucking sucks. Um, I have a friend and this one actually has nothing to do with cancer, but I have a friend who, who's, whose mother's in her nineties, I think 96, maybe she's in a nursing home and, um, hospice is in now. She's just, she's old. And, and it seems like it may be close to the end of her day. So hospice has arrived. So my friend, uh, you know, visits her every day and had a dream last night that she was with her mom and she, her mom was in this really pretty, you know, fluffy nightgown and they were just hanging out. And her mom looks at her and says, I didn't go with them. And my friend says, you didn't go with who? And she says, they came for me again, but I didn't go with them. I'm coming with you. And that, that was the dream, right? Now, mind you, it's a dream. I get that. But I often wonder is that, if that's kind of what it's like, right? I remember when um, my mom passed many, many, many years ago that her siblings that were around her bed at the hospital were there with her when she went and said that they could see her smile and her lips move as if she was talking to someone. And I've always thought that, you know, when it's your time, people, you know, they're waiting for you. Jesus, the people who have gone before you, whoever, with open arms. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. None of us have been there to come back and tell everybody about it, right? So it's, it's a little refreshing to me to think that way maybe or or believe maybe that's what happens um and maybe it was a small smidgen of insight for my friend that hey you know what it is going to be soon and let's we got to get prepared for these kind of things and as much as we don't want to it's because we spend our entire lives holding on to the people that are close to us holding on to the safety and the comfort and the health of the people that we care about the most and doing whatever we can to make sure that we keep them here and that's really not what it's all about, right? Because ain't none of us getting out of this alive. As much as we want to, as much as we think we're going to, we don't prepare ourselves for the fact that there will be that day that our loved one isn't gonna be here. Um, and it's tough, it's just tough. So my, the only thing that I can think in my pea brain is, to make sure that people know that they have a God to trust in. Because he's what matters. He's the one that calls us home when it's our time to go. 
regardless of the circumstance. And I can't explain all the bad negative things that happen to people that it shouldn't happen to and the, the tragedies and the catastrophes and the, and, the, and the brutal deaths that some people deal with. I get it. There's a lot of unanswered questions and there's a lot of flags, right, that get raised and you're like, well, then explain this or explain. I, I'm not explaining. I don't know how to explain. I can't explain it. But I can tell you that we have an awesome God. And yes, when it's our time, he does call us home. And if you don't know who he is and don't understand the reality of that, I encourage you to find someone to talk to about it. There are a million and 12 sermons on the web that you could tune into at any point in time. Please do. Please check it out. Um, he is our salvation. He created the heavens and the earth. He created us. He brought us into this world and he's going to take us out of this world at some time, whether we like it or not. And um, the only comfort that I can even remotely offer anyone is to trust God, regardless of the circumstance, regardless where you're at, and know that the pain and suffering that we go through here on this earth will all be washed away when it's our turn to go. So have faith. Try to find some peace in whatever it is you're going through and know that you have a God to turn to whenever you need to, day or night. That's all I have for you people. I wish everyone a very blessed day.